Okay, um, hello Virgos, how are you? This is Keep It Classy, I'm doing your weekly reading. I hope everybody's doing well. Like, share, hit the notification button to be notified when I post a video, okay? Sit back, enjoy the reading. I hope you gain some clarity on something you need clarity on. I hope this can help you. All right, so the only thing that I'm hearing for you guys is abandonment, okay? Somebody's feeling abandoned or they're feeling like, maybe they're feeling like you abandoned them or this is you. Okay, feeling this way. All right, so I'm here to abandon them. Okay. Okay, Virgo's energy. Let's see what the cards have. Virgo's energy. Virgo's energy. Virgo's energy. Virgo's energy. Virgo's energy. Card is in here okay we get this card on the keyboard first the sun card leo energy here we have the king of swords Libra energy, we have the Wheel of Fortune, that could be Taurus, it could be really anything, a lot of the signs, all the signs. Um, the Nine of Cups is here, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer energy. The Knight of Wands is here, Sagittarius energy here. We have the Two of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Um, we have the Seven of Cups here. I see Scorpio, Cancer energy. We have the Queen of Cups, Scorpio's energy. We have the Hierophant. We have Taurus energy here. Okay. So something is about to be illuminated to you, Virgo. Okay, something is about to come to the surface and it's going to be illuminated to you. Somebody's going to come in and speak some truth to you. They're going to come in being honest to you um, concerning the situation. All right, uh, Wheel of Fortune. And this is in order for the wheel to turn in their favor in a situation. Nine of Cups, this is somebody, um, yeah to get a victory with you yeah you make this person happy um the knight of wands is here this person is coming towards you quickly okay so this is coming in very quickly this could be somebody at a distance from you um you may get a visit from this person um maybe you see this person as being a player because they were in and out with you so you can take this person serious, all right? Because they weren't um they weren't consistent. Um the two of swords is here. So this person may come in and have you at a crossroads because why? Because you still have a lot of passion that burns for this person. So they may have you at a crossroads on whether or not to accept them back in your life, you know? On making a decision on whether or not to take this person back. Um, Seven of Cups is here. Um, be careful because this person may come in feeding you illusions. Um, they may play on your emotions because they, they know that you have a lot of emotions for them, this person. So they may come in feeding you some illusions and um, to get what they want with you. Okay, the hair font is here as well. So something's going to be exposed, okay, to you concerning this person, or it's going to, it, it's going to be exposed to you that they are feeding you some illusions, all right, that they are playing on your emotions just to get what they want for their selfish needs. Okay, Virgo's energy. Virgo's energy. Oh, 
So a lot is going to be exposed to you. A lot is going to be exposed to you. Use your intuition. Use your spiritual guidance in this situation. Listen to your inner self. Listen to your higher power because they're going to allow a lot of things concerning this person coming into you to be exposed. Seven of Wands. Um, so you'll know when to fend this person off. So there's going to be a time when you're going to need to fend this person off when this stuff is exposed to you. All right. The Four of Cups. Yeah, because they're going to come in with an offer. All right. The um, Hangman is here. But. Yeah, they're going to come into you with an offer, you know, but the divine has your back. The divine is going to show you some things you need to see concerning this person so they can't get over on you. So they can't, if they hurt you in the past, they won't be able to hurt you anymore, okay? Because the divine has your back. The divine has gifted you with uh, intuition to know, see, and hear, okay, what's going on around you. And they give you this gift. They give you your information, what you need to know, hear, or see to help you in a situation where you can't be hurt anymore. So you won't be hurt anymore. So you'll know when to fend someone off. Okay? But this person, they're coming in with an offer, but it's not going to go anywhere. The hangman, or you're needing to take your time, don't rush into nothing, use your intuition, allow your higher power to guide you in this situation. Okay, let them show you what you need to see. Eight of Swords, allow yourself to be in this situation where people may see you being stuck or they may see you being stuck, not being able to make a decision. All right, they're going to think this, but that's not what it is. It's the divine protecting you, okay? Because they're showing you things what you need to see while you're in this cycle right here, this Eight of Swords energy. This is the divine showing you things what you need to see. But they're going to think you're, that you're stuck on not knowing what to do, what to say, what decision to make. See, they're not realizing that you're getting help from a higher power on what you need to know. Okay, so allow yourself to be in this Eight of Swords energy in this situation. Okay, Two of Cups is here because you need to know who your true divine partner is. And the divine is going to show you whether or not this person is your true divine partner, whether or not you should commit yourself to this person. So allow yourself to be in this eight of swords energy for this situation. Four of coins is here. This person is greedy. Okay. So the, the divine is going to show you because this person is, is very greedy. This person could be very codependent on you. You could be very stable. Okay. Um, Ace of Cups, you have everything this person wants and needs. You're very fulfilled, okay? And this person may want to feed off of that, okay? To so have a new beginning, a stable new beginning. And they know that you may be able to give them this. The devil is here. This person is toxic. The divine will show you whether or not, you know, this person is, the, it's, the divine is going to show you this person's um, addictions, whatever they have. Um, this person needs to work on themselves, okay? Six of Cups. Yes, this is somebody from your past. Yes, this is a soulmate from your past, but that doesn't mean this is the soulmate you should commit yourself to, okay? They think about you a lot, this person. They do think about you a lot. Um, Page of Swords is here. They watch you very closely. They keep very tab close tabs on you. All right. You need to investigate. You need to research this person before you even move forward. Like I said, as well as use your intuition, allowing your intuition to guide you. Six of coins is here. This person, like I said, um, they could be looking for you to give them stability, you know? Spoil them, stability-wise. They see you balancing them out. Queen of Wands is here. Yeah, they're seeking stability. Um, they do find you highly attractive. Um, they do have passion for you, intimate passion. Um, they do see you as you know very beautiful. They do like your personality, but they're looking for stability as well. 
three of coins. Yeah, they're looking for a partnership, somebody that they can have a stable partnership with, and they see you as that person. The emperor is here. Um, this person is very bossy and controlling. They could be very stubborn. Um, they could go against the grain to get what they want with you. You know, they could try something um, not of the norm to get this partnership of stability off the ground with you. All right. So be on the lookout for that. Um, this person is manifesting what they want. If it don't work, they're going to do what it takes. You know, like I said, they're going to do something that's not of the norm to get what they want. They're going to go against the grain to get what they want with you. Three of swords. Okay, this person... Is somebody that doesn't, they, they could have broken your heart. They know that they broke your heart in the past. They know they caused you a lot of heartache and pain. So they're going to go against the grain to get a partnership with stability with you. They're going to do whatever it takes. Ten of Cups. To get this family foundation off the ground with you. This is somebody that you may have separated yourself from and they no longer want to be separated from you. So they're going to do what it takes to get you back, to move to better waters with you, six of swords. The star card, they're hoping to be able to heal things with you, this person. It could be a water sign, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, because this is a Gemini energy here. So they could have Gemini in their chart or some of you, it's a Gemini. The seven of coins is here. Yeah, they're looking into all kind of options, how to get this stability off the ground with you, okay? Or they could see you have a lot of offers of stability coming in to you, and they don't want that, you to be with nobody else. They want to be with you. Five of Wands, this person is going to fight for you, okay? So they see you having a lot of options coming in to you, but they're going to fight for you. They're going to fight. Okay, the Empress, they're in love. They are old. Empress, they're, they're in love with you. Leave her energy here. You are an empress, or you could be already married to this person. You could be a husband or a wife to this person, and they're going to fight for the relationship. Six of Wands, they're going to fight to get a victory with you. They're going to they want to charge for it in a victory because they don't want a separation. So this one is for somebody who's married, this part, okay? Or they're just in love with you if they're not married to you, okay? They're just charging in to get a victory, okay? So that's for somebody. All right, so you have one situation where somebody is greedy, somebody is um looking for stability, okay, and wanting a partnership, somebody that they could have a part equal give and take with, okay, somebody that put in work like they put in work. This is what they're looking for, okay, and they see you as that person, and this is somebody who broke your heart in the past. This coming back, the uh, emperor energy. Okay, they could be older than you, this person, Virgo. They could already have a family, so be careful. Because this is what this could mean, too. They have a, this person has a spouse that they still want to charge for it in a victory with you. So it could be that situation as well for somebody. All right, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to um, end it right here. You guys like, share, hit the notification button to be notified when I post a video. New viewers, um, I hope you got some insight on something you wanted to hear. I hope something resonated with you here, and but it's something that could help you move forward in the situation. Um, this was your weekly. I'm out. I love you guys. Be good.